Hello, beautiful people around the web. This is Snickers, and I'm your host for today's video. First of all, I must apologize that I can't speak into my microphone personally, but my illness really holds me off of doing so. It's called mononucleosis and I have terrible pain in my throat and fever. But that does not mean I can't do a video. This video will be about rocket jumping a soldier and I believe quite a lot of people will have a good time seeing and listening to this guide. So let's start! Before I begin, I want to add that you can see every button I press that is relevant for rocket jumping on my screen. It's a server plugin, so don't wonder how you get that thing for yourself. First of all we want to clarify what a rocket jump exactly is. A rocket jump is movement, and a created momentum only, by the use of shooting a rocket at a place where your character is hit by its blast radius. So the only speed you gain is by your rocket. As a matter of fact, you don't want to press following key, W, since you are not touching the ground. W becomes obsolete as long as you are airborne. You move through the air with the angle with which you hit yourself on the blast radius. To illustrate that, I have a simple image here that shows you that the blast radius is described as half a circle that is projected off the ground in a round shape. With this knowledge we are able to understand how to gain height and speed with just one rocket fired at your feet. Now you may ask, but I, that's exactly what I do. But still, I can't get any height, nor I gain significant speed. Just wait a little bit, here comes more info you have got to understand first, before you ask yourself if you are really clueless and can put these one and ones together how to do a rocket jump correctly. At this point I will clarify what your movement keys are good for. I will not refer to these keys as movement keys, but as strafe keys. This term is essential for almost all jumps and helps you out with any other class in the real game as well. Strafing is to move left and right. It's that simple, huh? But now comes the term that really matters, air strafing. What that means is that you can move in the middle of the air, which I define as mid-air, to the left or right. And that's exactly where your strafe keys come into play. Obviously, you have to press the strafe key for the direction you want to move towards to, but that's just half the deal. The other half, and you need both, remember that, is to look gently to the direction you want to fly or fall towards to. So going left equals out to strafe key A, and looking gently to the left, and going right equals out to strafe key D, and looking gently to the right. That's it. This method of strafing applies to all classes, since it's rooted in the Source Engine's physics engine. Now the only thing you have to do now is to combine a rocket jump with this air strafing and you are good to go. But there is a trick to it. How exactly do you perform a good rocket jump? This, my friends, is the most important question you could ask, since this video is about soldier rocket jumping after all. You can also perform well on some jumps only by using rockets and not air strafing but I won't recommend it. That's for rather skilled players, but nevertheless, it's a good thing getting a feel for how rockets and their blast radius behave on your soldier. On the chart I have shown you where blast radius is displayed you can see that it represents half a circle. Which means that you can go from a zero degree jump to a 90 degree jump. We won't count the other half from 91 to 180 since it really does not matter. It's the same thing just in the opposite direction and you only go one direction with a rocket blast jump forward. I want to set up some definitions first. High jump, low jump, and flat jump. What these mean is quite easy. High jump refers to a jump if you hit the top of the blast radius. That will be a 90 degrees jump and also translate into a movement straight up in the air without moving to the side. Of course this is not humanly possible to hit correctly since the blast radius is three dimensional, but you get the idea. 
Low jump refers to a jump that is performed with a low degrees digit such as 10 degrees. You will not travel far in distance and also won't travel as high. A flat jump is something in between a low jump and 45 degrees. If you hit the 45 degrees angle, however, you have the perfect rocket jump. But wait, there is more! First up, your goal is to gain maximum height and speed with a single rocket jump. For that to happen, you will have to jump first and then firing a rocket below your feet. Always remember that your rocket has a travel time, so jumping and looking straight down while running forward and then firing the rocket will cause about 70 to 80 degrees jump. Just one side note here, which will be quite important later, if you use the default rocket launcher, the rocket will come out slightly to the right of your crosshair. So looking straight down, jumping and then firing the rocket will never result in a perfect 90 degrees high jump. Next, it is mandatory to hold the crouch key, which is the control key, the entire time you are airborne. Which means that you jump, then immediately hold crouch, and then fire the rocket. That way you enlarge the distance from your character model to the blast radius by half your character height and gain far more speed and height since you are a smaller object. It is really weird, but a key essential element to have a successful rocket jump. Now we have covered almost everything that you need to know to perform a good rocket jump. But knowledge is not everything. Remember that. You will have to practice a lot. But now that we are here, let's talk about some methods that are important for any good rocket jumper. Wall climbing, pogo, sink jumps, speed pogo and what I have always read, wall climb out of a pogo. What this means, it's fairly simple, as in explaining these jumps, you will see footage according to the jump I will talk about. Wall climbing means that you perform a rocket jump and hold down the accord in strafe key and crouch and try to stick to the wall the entire time. You basically strafe to the wall and then shoot a rocket below your feet at the wall and gain height, potentially speed as well. And by the way, all jumps begin with a single rocket jump at first, so this first jump is one of the most important jumps since it sets you up for all the following jumps. This takes a lot of practice, since you will have to perform a nearly perfect, or at least ideal, rocket jump for every time you want to continue to move forward. Also you have to master strafing first, otherwise you won't get anywhere. There are different ways to approach a wall climb, which goes over a fairly large area but only straight forward. When I first learned how to do that, I watched a lot of jumping videos where nothing is explained and looked closely where these guys aim at and when they would fire the rocket. I could not replicate these things at first, so I came up with my own strategy. I would stand at the wall but face backwards to the direction where I was going. That way I don't have to look behind me every time I perform a wall climb jump, as displayed in my footage. However, the way I do it is way more reliable since you can see where you are going and with a bit of practice you won't want to do it in any other way. Pogo jumps are fairly simple to explain. You jump and hold crouch and wait a bit. You want to delay to fire your rocket, but once you do fire, you just hold the fire button on your mouse, crouch, and that's it. At this point you are suspended constantly by your rockets and you won't touch the floor. A pogo implies that you never make contact with the floor, because if you did, you would lose all speed that you would have gained. When pogoing, you can press W in addition to slowly gain speed while looking straight down. This is a very tedious process and not quite recommended, however necessary at some difficult jumps on jump maps where you can practice. Usually you can perform a pogo and turn it into a speed pogo by simply flinging your aim back and shoot a little bit more behind you at first. That way you gain your initial speed. From that point on forward, you want to aim below you without looking back. The faster you go, the more you have to aim in front of you on the ground. 
Only slightly, but this is mandatory since you are beginning to travel faster than your rocket. This is entirely timing based, but rocket jumps are based on the right timing anyways, so this may be a good practice, too. This now will be a gear grinder wall climb after a pogo. For me it was extremely difficult, and the last thing that I attempted to master since it was so frustrating. What you basically do is pogo jumping as usual, and as soon as you hit the wall with your face, you want to sustain your pogo first. Remember what I told you about the default rocket launcher and the way it fires its rockets? The rocket will come out slightly to the right of your crosshair. Now that comes into play. Well, at wall climbs, too, since you have to account for that as well, but never mind. You want to sustain your pogo and hold V, W, strafe and key. Now you look slightly to your left and adjust your positioning with D as well. You don't want to go left and right so much, so try and keep practicing that first. Once you can manage to sustain a stable position, you may also use A, but only if you go too far into the wrong direction. Now you have to confidently move up your mouse a little bit almost by only one to three degrees. That way your default rocket launcher will fire the rocket against the wall instead of hitting the floor even though you still aim at the floor. Now only keep your position stable and don't move around to your left or right too much otherwise you will lose height. If done correctly you can wall climb out of a pogo. Let's move on to sink jumps. What that means is that you simply synchronize two rockets into one jump. As I display in my gameplay, you can see that I sink one rocket by falling down, aiming at the ground, then wait a bit and perform a usual rocket jump off the floor the moment the other previously fired rocket hits the ground. That way I combine the force of two rockets into one jump. It's extremely difficult to do, but once mastered, it's quite fun to do. To be honest though, you won't really need this in a regular game, but this is not about regularity anyways, it's about the principle of rocket jumping. You can also try to sink two rockets at once, while falling down and then perform a regular rocket jump off the ground. That way you combine three rockets at once. The height and speed you gain, once performed correctly, is incredible and almost ludicrous. For a so-called double sink, you have to be quite high to begin with, so doing that is almost impossible on regular Valve maps anyways. But hey, again, it's not about that. The last thing that comes into my mind is surfing. This is not quite as much required for rocket jumping, but I tell you guys about it anyways. Surfing means that you are on a slope that usually makes you drop away, but you hold any strafe key, taking into account where you look, and sustaining your position. If now you add speed, you are able to move over the surface of the slope. But remember that slopes not always mean that you have to drop away from it automatically. It may also just be a ramp. That's why staircases also count. This actually finds good use in some valve maps. So if you have enough speed to begin with, on the right angle, just hold crouch, but no strafe and key, and you will surf up the staircase. Remember to never press or hold W while doing so. Also never use S, since that reduces your speed when you look forward of the motion you are going. This applies to all rocket jumps. There are maybe more off topics to talk about, but as a matter of fact I want to explain how I perform the jumps for the surf. You see that there is water everywhere. I basically speed pogo the whole time, but I don't need to worry about touching the floor since I just hold the jump key and float on top of the water. That also applies to regular games where water exists and can be used to do some jumps with. Finally, and I don't have gameplay for that at the moment, if you stand in a small puddle of water that is covering height up until your ankles, or maybe slightly more, and if you then perform a rocket jump, you will be propelled with incredible height. That's just a fun fact but really won't find use in any game that really matters. 
so that should conclude my basic guide on rocket jumping as soldier. There are maybe things I have left out, but for now this should be enough to cover most of your questions, as well as teaching you the basics to start becoming a good rocket jumper. I also want to refer to Star, who did a rocket jumping guide. He covers some aspects which I have left out, so check out his video. I leave a link in the description below and also have an annotation float around on this video. I hope you enjoyed this guide and see you guys next time. Keep it up.